Y'all, buckle up, grab your favorite snack, grab your favorite beverage, and get ready for a super long vlog. So many things, so many things in this vlog. So, timestamps, clickable timestamps in the video and down in the description box. So, skip to what you want if you don't wanna watch the whole thing. All right, see you in a minute. Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my home. If you're new, thank you for joining us. Please subscribe, it's free. We are a vlogging channel. That means we just vlog. We vlog here at home. We vlog on the cruise ships. We vlog in our camper. We vlog in my kitchen. We just vlog. And if that's something you're interested in, I invite you to subscribe. Good morning, you guys. So many of you have said how much you miss the home vlogs. Thank you so much. I know we have not vlogged at home. We did the one before the Mardi Gras, but we haven't really vlogged at home, I think, all summer. We have traveled so, so, so much. <laughs> I haven't had a chance. <laughs> so I am extremely behind on editing, on comments, on everything. I am trying to catch up. Work, when you get back home, after being gone, there is so much to do. And as you know, this room is my filming room. You may not know, this is my filming room. This is my office, um, YouTube room, whatever you wanna call it. Currently, it is my son's storage room and it is our new family member's room. And it is where we also prepare to pack, where we prepare for our cruises and travel and things like that. This room is about to undergo a major transformation in the next couple of weeks. I'll get into all of that later. I have so much to update you on, so much to tell you. We have a stitch fix to do. We have an unboxing of Causebox or All True, whatever they named it. Um, and some new things to show you. You guys, it has just been nonstop these last few months, but it is going to be a long vlog. This is going to be a long vlog. <clears throat> and um, I have a lot to tell you and a lot to show you and a lot to share with you. So we're gonna play catch up this week. And then next week we'll get back into probably some cooking and our regular home vlogs. So yeah, um, we are not finished with travel for the rest of this year. Um, you know, I'm hoping to have some camping trips coming up, but with the update I'm about to give you, I'm not sure that that's gonna be able to happen for a little while, so we will see. And um, anyway, but right now, I would like to introduce you to our newest family member. Are you ready for your debut, Angel? Are you ready? You guys, this, this is Mozzie. <laughs> he is the biggest snuggle baby on the planet. You want to say hello, Angel? He's still getting used to the camera. He's a little afraid of the laptop. So that's why the camera is so far back. I try and come in here. He's in here for a reason. I'll get to that. We're not being mean to him. I promise. <laughs> um, uh, I try and come in here and edit and sit with him and spend time with him, but he's a little afraid of the laptop. So, um, especially when the volume or anything. So I try and put my headphones in. He's just getting used to life inside a house. Uh, he's been on this. You want to get down love? There you go, sweetheart. There you go. He is a big snuggle baby, but right now that camera, he doesn't understand what it is. And I know that seems silly, so let's let's let him say hello to you, and then I'll give his story as he runs off. Mozzie, can you say hello, love? Can you say hello? We called him Junior initially because he looks so much like Grayson. Don't you, love? Oh. Okay. I'll let you go, baby. He likes to... Oh, oh my... Oh, you are just such an angel. <laughs> He's, you, he loves to be loved. I, I mean, I can't even tell you. <laughs> I don't want to let him go now. Okay, because he's snuggling up again. <laughs> are you snuggling, Angel? Hmm? 
Yeah, I know. I know. His name is Mozzie. Um, our youngest son named him, um, and it has a significance to him. Um, however, to us, our significance for that, if you watch the, the TV show, oh my goodness, why can't it, where he's the art thief dealer, art thief guy, and or he's a con, con artist, but he does a lot of art. And... Oh, one of the characters on that show. Why can I not think of the name? I had it two minutes ago. His name was Mozzie. And he was the charming, lovable, do everything, take care of everyone character. And um, our sweet Mozzie, oh my goodness, seriously. <laughs> I know you can't see him, but he is just like buddy. Aren't you love? Aren't you baby? I know, I know. Uh, buckle up you guys it's gonna be a long vlog I just I haven't talked to you in so long so you know when I haven't talked to you and I have so much to share with you it's gonna be long <laughs> so hi baby so I will just sit here and let him relax oh I just bumped his paw I'm sorry love so several weeks ago before we got on the Mardi Gras which was back in September. I didn't even tell you, it's November 1st. It is 50 some odd degrees outside and it's about 9 a.m. It is the fall here in Texas. We finally had the changeover where we pretty much had our last 80 plus degree day. And this girl is in heaven. It is my most favorite time of year. So how you will find me most often if you're new is no makeup with my glasses on my hair crazy mess and uh, this is the time of year where I gear up and I start running again pretty consistently I have a new treadmill I so much to tell you anyway I'll be running outside I'll be running on the treadmill I'll be running at the park it's just it's that time of year anyway mr. green eyes are you comfortable the vet cut his claws so close and so short that he slips and slides everywhere so until his claws grow back, it's it's really not safe for him to be climbing on anything because he has no grip. Um, but they did that for his safety and the vet's safety because he was a feral cat. So let's let's back up, back again. Squirrel, call me a cat <laughs> in my dog mom shirt. <laughs> anyway, um, so we noticed him one morning. Uh, across the street from us. Oh, love, mommy's bracelet's caught. There we go. We noticed him across the street from us, um, poking around in our neighbor's house, in our neighbor's front garden. So we saw him. A couple days later, we saw him again. This time he was in our front yard. He was very feral. He was afraid. He wouldn't come near us. He wouldn't come close to us. So we just gradually, because we knew we had to catch him, we just gradually, um, let him learn to trust us. And it was a very slow process with him. But each day he got about a foot closer to us to the point where finally, the day we were getting on Mardi Gras, the day before, he let us walk past him without him running away. So we, um, that was good progress. Well, while we were gone, on the ship, somebody trapped him and it broke my heart. I was so sad that he was trapped. I, I was glad that he was, he was going to go to a rescue and that kind of thing, but he had been posted on the boards and I was like, Oh, I literally cried on the Mardi Gras and Rob was like, when we get home, we will go get him. As soon as we are in port, we will make phone calls and we will go get him. Well, he had, he had moved. They had sent him someplace else. And I was, I was crushed. Me and our, my son were crushed. <laughs> so we basically had said, okay, you know, he's, he's not going to be our baby. And, um, that's fine. After we got home from Mardi Gras, one night the cameras went off and I was sitting on the couch and it, I was like, 
that's interesting. It's, it's dark. It's late. And I opened the door and he was there. I literally started crying and because I knew he was skittish, I was exceptionally quiet, <laughs> but tears were rolling down my face. I didn't understand where he'd come from, but I knew it was him. And I said to Rob, whispered, he's here. We called him Little Kitty at the time because he was so little. Little Kitty is here. Anyway, long story short, it took about two or three days and we got him inside. But we noticed his ear was clipped. Now understand in these two or three days, he never left my front yard. He did not leave our bushes. He did not leave our front porch. He stayed in our front yard the whole time. Well, I went outside one day and I sat down on the ground and I told him, I said, baby, it's time to bring you inside. We need to figure out, you know, where you came from, what's going on with you. Isn't that right, Angel? He crawled into my lap. <laughs> Just said, okay, you're mine. So um, we set up a kennel in the garage and um, it was still pretty warm outside, so we had the fans going. <laughs> I just did not want him in the garage, but we had to get him checked by the vet first before we could bring him into the house. If he had anything, I have six cats, you know. Anyway, I know Love Bucket. I know, I know, he's so precious. Then I noticed his ear was clipped and he had definitely been neutered. So, in Texas, I don't know how it is everywhere else, we have clip and release, spay and release, and the signal, neuter and release, whatever. The signal is a, is a notched ear, a clipped ear. And his ear was definitely clipped. It's a clean cut, so you know it's not from a fight or from you know anything else. And it was fresh, and his neuter was fresh. Like, I, I could tell. Anyway, we were boarding the Horizon in like two days. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm going to do. So phone calls were made. We called. Basically, he had been released. Clip and release. So he was feral, so they let him go. He found his way back here. Cats can do that. He found his way back here. He picked us. He knew he was home. He knew this was his family. And this is where he is now. So he got very sick while we were on Horizon, and um, it was he was very sick. He started limping. Anyway, my oldest son came and got him, took him to his vet, because our vet was booked up, took him to his vet. It was very expensive, but he is well now. He had um, a wound in his paw. The vet could never find it, but it was almost like... Um, you know how humans, we can get staph infections inside our bodies. It was very much like that on him, but, um, he's fine now. He was very sick for quite a few days. He had fever. He was on two different types of antibiotics. He was on pain medication and steroids, um, for a few weeks, but he is fully recovered now. He had his last dose of his antibiotics yesterday and he is the most precious little angel on the planet and it just took me like 15 minutes to tell you that anyway he is still in this room because Grayson and little bit want absolutely nothing to do with him and in fact they are quite angry that he is here so it's gonna be a slow introduction they'll eventually be able to be together will they ever love each other maybe not but um, we're gonna try but this is his home um, he's not going anywhere he is the sweetest baby Okay, so 20 minutes of me explaining new Mozzie to the family. Oh, I'm sorry. He's still a little jittery and jumpy. Oh, my arm is so tired, little baby. Look at this angel. <laughs> oh, you say hello with your pretty green eyes. Oh. <laughs> I can't even handle it. He's so cute. Anyway, so the truck was stolen. It was while we were on Horizon. I briefly spoke about it in a live while we were on Horizon. Five o'clock in the morning, I'm sitting in the couch in the cabin. And uh, 
all of a sudden my cameras are going off and I'm like, what's happening? It took forever to connect. It finally connects and there's a police officer at my front door. The things that ran through my head. So I'm getting Chandler FaceTime because Carnival has Wi-Fi calling blocked, which is really annoying, Carnival. Um, it's really annoying that <laughs> they have it blocked. Anyway, I guess maybe people were using too much data. I don't know. I, I don't know, but I pay for premium internet. <laughs> so, um, I finally get Chandler on the phone. And I'm like, it's a police officer at the front door. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. So he opens the door. And he gives the news. And thankfully, I'm sorry, as a mother, my cousin was killed in a car accident and that is how her mother was notified and I that's anyway that's the first thing I thought of and oh you gonna snuggle baby you want to get up and so um yeah it's gonna take me forever to get through these stories because I'm out of practice so uh yeah anyway it wasn't the truck was stolen it was used in a federal crime uh, yeah so anyway finally just this past week we got it back it is now at the collision place it was at mako being painted <laughs> beautiful paint job frank the van we had painted it looks beautiful um so we are awaiting the news to see if the frame has been bent and how the transmission is it was found on the road running thankfully quite a few miles from here thankfully it was recovered because right now basically what we were told is they're not recovered um, my husband's truck is like one of the most popular trucks and they're in high demand right now um, and uh, very prevalent in being stolen oh why oh, you stretching and so oh he's flopping I know you can't see him but he's flippy flopping Anyway, so we're really lucky that it was recovered. Now we just need to make sure it is drivable and it doesn't have to be replaced. So we can't do anything because the steering column's broken and the locks are all broken. And anyway, everything has to be rekeyed and it's just, a lot of work has to be done. But thankfully, appearances, it appears to be fine. The cameras were still left in the truck for the RV. The RV hitch was still in the truck. Everything, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> so, I'm telling you, it could have been a thousand times worse. So, big picture, no complaints. Of course, I wish it didn't happen, but, so that's an ongoing problem. I forgot this camera turns off after a few minutes. Robert is in a rental, but it's a 1500 and we drive a 2500, so um, it's not as heavy duty as his truck is. So <laughs> it's been a bit of a challenge and the 1500 will not tow the camper. Oh, where are you going, love? This way. You gonna go get some breakfast? Oh, I'm cleaning myself now. Bath time. Anyway, so that's that. I will talk to you in a minute. We have, to, oh, 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 Vlogmas, yes. Vlogmas is happening. I'm sitting here looking at, I think I have six advent calendars. <laughs> or four, or six. Uh, yeah, that's the Lego advent, is that what that is? Yeah, I believe that's Lego advent. Um, and uh, rituals, and uh, Vela Spa, Vela Spa candles, I don't know, we have a few uh, advent calendars for this year. So there's all of that. So I'm going to stop talking now. We'll do cause box and stitch fix here in just a minute or tomorrow or later or in this vlog. And, um, I will see you in a minute and, uh, yeah, I'm going to go edit. It's not going to focus because it's the light, but let me show you. So this is my fall decor this year. Pretty simple and not a whole lot. What I can, I will link below. You know, this is our fireplace. That's my new baby. Um, so this is everything. I got that uh, from uh, Zoo Lily. If it's still available, I'll link it. These are from Amazon, Target, Amazon. I've had that forever. There's my cameras. Target, um, 
I've had the this thing came in a subscription box. Anyway, um, I am these candles. I love them. I I know they're not great for you, but I still love them. And this is a candle from Target. Um, this just made me so happy. I did not bring out any of my traditional fall decor. I just didn't do it this year. Uh, this is all I did. And some more on the uh, table in the front room, which I'll show you in a second. And there is my new beautiful, 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 oh, need to vacuum, darn, vacuum. This thing costs an arm and a leg, and I absolutely love it. It is the best vacuum I have ever purchased. <laughs> I love it. It is exactly what I wanted. It does exactly what I want it to do. And the charge on it lasts like almost an hour on like, where is it? Yeah, on medium, on high, it's almost an hour, but on medium and low, it's an hour, hour plus. Um, and yeah, I don't like this thing. It's here because I, I need to do something with it. Anyway, love this vacuum. Love it. I, ca I can't say enough about it. And I'll show you me using it later. And um, there's a mess in the front room. Hold on. Okay, this room is an absolute disaster because it's a work in progress. But here is the other one. I need to wipe down the table. The cats have been up here. Here is the other one. Um, and this is, I think, from Target. And then just, but this is it. That's my fall decor. Seriously, that is, that is the extent of it. And this burlap running down the center, which I will uh, link for you. Um, I'll link as much as I can for you. That's, Robert was working over here yesterday. He, that's the cat toy, but um, excuse the tape, but that little thing right there, that's from uh, Target and I will link it for you. But this is the extent of it. And so this rug came from Target also. It's right at my front door. That's dry cleaning that needs to go. This is a new desk for Chandler that came from one of his brother's house houses. And those two are Balsam Hill um, wreath and um, garland for the house for Christmas. So anyway, the cats have been up here. This, I know it's a mess. This was in my son's garage. He brought it here. This is Chandler's new desk. So we just, we have not had a chance and we were brushing a little bit. So. Anyway, but this is this room. It's seriously, this room just gets so cluttered. It's so filled with stuff. Um, that's for the camper. Like all that stuff goes in the camper. Um, our wolf pack, I need to throw that Ulta box out. It's got two broken candles in it. Um, that's a rug for the litter boxes. I, seriously, so much. <laughs> that's a backup battery. Those are the trash cans and recycle bin for the camper. So that's all my new lego for the year i just this room has gotten away from me completely so here we are finally back in the kitchen so i'm in the process of cleaning the stove top and the vent hood and then i honestly oops i forgot to put this up i have to edit so it's my mug <laughs> so if you're interested in this oh my goodness if you're interested in this i will leave it linked below for you but you know you're not gonna hurt my feelings if you're not. Next time you see me, I will have makeup on. I will look a little more presentable. I'll have new makeup to tell you about and uh, new skincare. Oh my God, I have found the fountain of youth. Seriously. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so now I'm dressed. I love this pink. I love this plaid. This is like the plaid that I will wear. I have one that's similar that I got from Fat Fit Fun Style in a purpley blue, but this shirt is enormous. So anyway, I picked it up from Caslon, uh, the Nordstrom anniversary sale, and I was gonna send it back, but I just absolutely love the pink, the pattern on this. This is like my most favorite plaid. So being that, I may actually have it altered. So we will see. Okay, so here's my cause box. They sent the magazine. I did not, now you have to pay for the magazine, but I think it may even be, I don't know, I didn't pay for this one. So I don't know why I have it. My hair is a mess, you guys. I need to get it cut. So 
Okay, so now with Causebox, you can make choice. There's lots of selection. You can do add-ons. It's very similar to FabFitFun now. One of the add-ons I did was this. This is the fan diffuser, uh, and it's just one that runs off of battery and USB every time. Uh, it runs. This one runs off of battery and USB, and I wanted it for the camper. The one I have in the camper uh, runs off the plug, and that's fine, but um, I also wanted one that was just, I could put it anywhere, because when you're limited where you have to have it plugged in, it's under a <laughs> it's under a cabinet, and I just don't want it, um, the moisture, under the cabinet. I'd rather just have it out. Next item in here was something I did get to pick, and it is this faux leather Henley, Henny and Lev, and it's just a shoulder bag. Y'all, I've gotten some of my most favorite bags from, oh, there's a, a crossbody too, from ex, uh, subscription boxes. So this one is the faux leather and it has a slide pocket on the inside. Yeah, two little slide pockets on the inside. Uh, let's see, where is this one? This is the, let's be honest, it's never just your phone, keys, and wallet. As Life on the Go returns, we're reminded just how much we need every day. Uh, versatile Henry, Henny and Lev tote has you covered, roomy enough to carry all your essentials, including a 13-inch laptop. Hmm. This bag has pockets to keep things organized and a reno, removable strap so you can wear it as both a crossbody and a classic tote. Uh, as part of this partnership, Henny and Lev will donate 160 of these totes to nurses and mothers at the Cedars Sinai uh, Sinai 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 and NICU. Um, it does not have a price, but uh, there you go. This is really nice. I really like this, um, and the fact that it holds my laptop even better. I have a 13 inch laptop, so I like the crossbody. It says they're removable, but mine doesn't look to be, oh, it's not easily removable. So it's like a screw that you unscrew and they come, then it comes off. But at least you can remove it and you can wear it as a nice crossbody should you want to. I really like that. So I did pick this. Um, I, I was very excited about it. So let's put that back there. Um, something I ordered, but it has not come in, is the Small Hours Set of Five Stackable Pantry Containers. Mine has not come in yet. It hasn't even shipped. So um, the diffuser came in a separate package. So this is something I chose. And I don't know if I did it as an add-on or a choice item, but it hasn't come yet. So I'm sure it'll come. If not, they'll... they'll refund me or whatever okay so here is this this is huna skincare nurse skin nutrition balm made with nourishing natural ingredients like organic mango butter pomegranate avocado carrot broccoli and chia seeds oil this nourishing balm soothes dry damaged dehydrated skin and protects healthy skin from elements um cracked cold weather lips oh my lips are so dry i will definitely be i've been using the um laneige uh, sleeping lip mask it's not doing anything for these dry lips um, we have just switched over to lower humidity cooler temperatures and and we had a windstorm the other day and so my lips just went Whoak. that's the moisture being sucked out of them <laughs> so yeah mm. very subtle botanical citrusy scent very thick you can tell it's very emollient very thick this is oh yeah this is this is good this is gonna be great oh uh, yeah this is the kind of thing I like to have especially for cracked heels oh and it just melts right in it doesn't leave an well I mean just in a light coating here no oily residue oh this is gonna be great yep this is gonna be great there is no price on this um the Nutrition Garden on the Huna Farm in British Columbia, Canada. There you go. Okay, this I'm excited about. I'm very excited about. This is a welcome mat. 
Mm, I love that smell, the smell of the grass. A message of community crafted with care delivered to your doorstep. Invite the much missed friends and family into your home with an, this all natural artisan made welcome mat. Um, the company accompanying, accompanies, accompanying's goal. Okay, so the company is a company, A C C O M P A N Y. That was hard to say. Their goal is to do business in ways that are not just conscientious conscious but also constructive um, and this is a the pro this project helped sustainably employ 227 artisans at the craft boot boat artisan collective a cooperative with a focus on gender equity and women's empowerment in Bascano Bas Bansko Rajasthan providing consistent employment through India's second wave of COVID-19 yes we have friends in India. We uh, so anyway. So this is lovely. This is feels like straw, but it also feels like fabric. I love this. This is. I don't know if I want this at my back door or my front door. I don't know. I'm gonna have to decide because I love that. Oh, that's beautiful. Outside, outside at the front or the back. I don't know. What a great cause. I love cause box. That's why I let it renew. Cause y'all know, y'all knew when I was telling you, oh, I'm going to have to cancel cause box. Y'all knew I wasn't going to cancel it. How can you can't cancel cause box. It's too good. It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. So it's got fit fun. Not even. Um, kitchen innovations, perfect measure, silicone and beechwood measuring spoon set. This one's silicone, silicone, silicone. This one, the tablespoon is beechwood and the little one is silicone. A teaspoon of that messy, delicious kitchen happiness. We've got you covered. These measuring spoons, kitchen innovations have um, been a past favorite from our seasonal add-on market. So we decided to share them in the box. Uh, function, durability, and innovation. Those are just a few of the ingredients that go into kitchen innovations. They're beautiful designs, add just a pinch of whimsy to cooking time made with sustainable materials and sold at accessible price points. So there you go. Again, there's no price here, but whatever. Very nice. I love the colors. Um, I, y'all know I cook a lot Well, I haven't been lately, but you know, normally I cook and bake a lot. So I am, you never have too many measuring spoons. Excellent. I will get those washed and in my drawer and ooh, I think we have two more things in here. Oh, here's the postcard. Y'all know I saved these. Here we go. Who's our artisan this month? Luisa Salas for All True. So there we go. All right, here is eachjewels.com. Here we go. Back to basics, these dainty necklaces are made for layering, designed with an adjustable link to pair with your favorite pieces, including your Wear Everywhere classic pendant. Delicate and Delicate and minimalist. Wear both together as a set or mix and match. Uh, made with 14 karat gold plated steel, this duo is hyperallergenic. Hypoallergenic. Nice. Okay. Very beautiful. I will definitely wear these. There we go. I will definitely wear them. Lovely. Very lovely. Love that. Mm -hmm. And last but not least is, ooh, 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 I love this. And I love the size of it. This is Bemakai, Bemaki, Bemakai. Dry your hair faster and safer. This Manta hair towel wrap minimizes the need to rub the hair, which can cause damage. Works great with conditioners and masks. Just apply on hair and cover with the wrap 10 to 15 minutes. Um, wooden button and 40% um, bamboo and 60% poly, uh, recycled polyester. I use a hair towel every single time I wash my hair. I love them. I swear they make a difference because when we're on the cruise ships and I don't have one with me because I forgot them, um, I, my hair, it takes forever to dry. So this one is nice, new, fresh, and much more compact than my other ones will go in my travel bag. So, and your hair is clean when you put them in. So if you're on a cruise for 14 days, you just hang it to dry. And if it gets dirty, which 
it shouldn't, you're putting clean hair in it unless you're using a mask or something with it, then you just wash it. There's usually laundry on the ship or bring two or I don't know what to tell you, but I bring them when I travel most of the time. Okay, that's everything in my cause box. And like I said, I just have that other item coming. There were lots of choices. There was mascara. There was, um, let's see, uh, eye masks, collagen eye masks. There were dryer balls. There were Earth Harbor Seize the Day Luxury Skincare Bundle and a candle and a speaker. Oh, that's the other thing I didn't get yet. I ordered this also, the Tease mug. So my mug hasn't come in, oh, cat here. So my mug hasn't come in and the um, containers haven't come in. That's it, so there you go. All right, I have, this is a Chantecai sample I have on my lips, but let's. Uh, I changed fingers, I never dip after putting it on my lip. I don't really like to put my hands in, but I mean, what else can I do right now? I don't really have a brush for this. Mm, that's nice. So there you go. Okay, that's it. Now we have Stitch Fix. So um, let me move the camera and then we'll do Stitch Fix. I got two pairs of jeans, two shirts, and a skirt. Um, and uh, yeah, so be right back. Okay, so here is outfit number one. Um, my husband is texting me. So my stylist is still Emily, and um, happy fix day. Yay, I was so thrilled that you loved your last fix. Look, I've gotten two or three fixes over the summer that I've absolutely loved. Um, these booties, these booties, no, I don't normally wear chunky heels like this and high heel. I don't normally wear this, but the color of these booties, because they're that blush pink, they're Vince Camuto, I fell in love with them. I will try and link them. They're from Stitch Fix. I could not find them anywhere on the internet, anywhere in this color. So um, I don't know if it was a Stitch Fix exclusive or what, but um, there you go. I loved them. Loved them. I had to have them. Um, so let's see. I asked her for some straight leg jeans to wear with booties, and um, I asked her for some plaid skirts, and um, she delivered. So here, you know what, let me just put this up here. All right, so these jeans are the, these are the STS Blue Caroline High Rise Straight Leg, navy size four, $59. And this top, um, it's either the Market and Spruce Pret Henley three quarter sleeves, yeah, uh, and burgundy, a size small for $44. This is really cute. I have to tell you, I actually really like this top. Um, I like the three-quarter sleeve. I think it's really, really cute. The problem is, I just don't need it. Um, doesn't mean I don't want it. I just don't know that I need it. So we will see um, at the end. It's also one of those materials that wrinkles really easily. Um, it is blind dry, machine wash cold, separately non-chlorine bleach 100% rayon so you know it's going to shrink and you know it's going to be impossible it's going to it's going to be impossible to iron so there you go um so we have to really think about it these jeans first of all they're too big so um they are extremely loose <laughs> everywhere um but i think that's just because they're stretchy uh, I really like these. This this is sort of what I wanted, but I didn't want any kind of cropped or ankle. I know this is what people are wearing with their booties. The high, I don't like that look. That's just not the look I like. I prefer the, the denim to hit at the top of the booty. I don't know why. That's just what I prefer. So maybe straight leg is not what I'm wanting. Maybe skinny is where I need to be. And I've gotten two or three pair from Short Story and from, excuse me, Natalie Attired. I ordered um, their box, uh, two of them. I, they sent me some great pieces. I'll show them over the, anyway. Um, and then uh, Short Story sent me some great denim. So, and Stitch Fix. So I really, I think I'm okay now. I got a couple of colored denims. And when I requested this, I hadn't gotten 
I don't know why I requested these. I forget why, but anyway, it's been a while. So there we go. So this is this pair, and she also sent me another pair, which I do like better, but I have a pair exactly like them. So I think I'm going to stop getting jeans. I'm just going to tell her no more jeans because I think I'm good there. Um, and I'm probably going to pause my stitch fix for quite some time because I just don't need any more clothing. So here is this. Here's this look. Here are these jeans. Um, they are very comfortable, but they're just way too large. Um, and I have four pair like this that I got from Amazon for like nine, 10, and 11 bucks. I got them during COVID. I remember telling you guys about them. They were marked down and they still are. And Amazon, I'm gonna have to show you a dress here in just a minute that Amazon has marked down for 15 bucks. Hold on. Okay, so these jeans fit more like what I was looking for. Um, they are skinny. I kind of, I don't really know what I wanted. I kind of wanted them to sort of taper down, but be more straight. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to, maybe mom jeans are more what I'm looking for. Sort of like what we wore in that 80s, where they weren't skinny jeans, but they were more fitted. And they went all the way down to the ankle, and we rolled them up above our Reeboks. I think that's kind of what I'm looking for. Now, these jeans sort of fit, but they're also too big at the same time. I have that trouble with jeans a lot. Um, so isn't this shirt, this is so cute. But this is what I think I'm talking about with rayon. You see how it does this wrinkly thing here? It's, this is this crepey rayon. This may be a different material. Let's see what this is. No, I think this is, pretty sure this is rayon. Yeah, 100% rayon. So what a cute, I love the little, this little, I don't know, flare here at the end. I really, really like this shirt a lot. Um, I'm not fond of the, the collar. I hate the strings. I really do. Um, I may, in this case, it's fine to cut them. You know, it's fine. But this shirt is so cute, but I just don't like that it's rayon. Okay, so this is um, Market and Spruce Ava Tie Neck Long Sleeve Red, size small, $46. Really, really cute. Um, really cute. I, I, it's so adorable. And these are the um, 1822 denim, uh, denim Berlin Girlfriend Jean Navy, size four forty-eight dollars What a great price. I mean, so, but they, they like fall down and they're too big in the waist. So I always have that trouble. They're too big in the waist. They fit sort of in the hips. They're too big, like right in through here, but then they fit in the legs because I have bigger legs. So, you know, it's just, I just have to find the right pair. And I am not willing to invest hundreds of dollars into designer jeans. I don't wear them enough to do that. About the most expensive that I'm willing to buy is Cut on sale and um, the Absolution, Democracy, and there's the other one. There's two brands in the Absolution, Democracy and one other. Um, and I buy them on sale. So, and I think I have found what I'm looking for. Anyway, so, but this is kind of more the look I like. I really hope that you can see me. I'm having a hard time seeing the camera. Um, this is more the look I like, where it hits just at the top of the booty. So these are the right length. Um, they're long when I roll them out, but yeah, this is great. I love this look. This She did great. Emily is amazing. I'm telling you, I've had some five for fives <laughs> this summer, Emily. <laughs> so, and I haven't been able to share them with you because we've been traveling, but you have seen the things that I've gotten in the sneak peeks and the OOTDs in the sneak peeks. I realize you're still waiting on the Mardi Gras sneak peek and you haven't seen the um, Horizon sneak peeks, but you will, and that's where you'll see where I've been, what I've gotten from Stitch Fix. Man, they are just, they're doing such a great job. And the prices have come down a little bit on Stitch Fix, so it's a little more affordable. Not always, but it's a little more affordable. Um, and right now they're doing that thing, well they were, if you spend $150 in the shop, you get, in, in freestyle, you get $40 back. I could not leave that alone. So, anyway, all right, here's these booties again. I know they don't really match this, but I don't care. I'm gonna wear them. Okay, now I'm gonna change completely I'll be right back. The last outfit. Um, these booties I found on Nordstrom Rack, marked down. They're the Vince Camuto booties. 
This is in the color Tortilla. It's not quite, I wanted more of a taupey color, but I also picked them up in gray. So they were so marked down. Seriously, <laughs> so marked down. Keep an eye out on the Nordstrom rack. So just, just, and then they have the clear the rack sale. Yeah, okay, this little sweater is from Shein, of all places. Um, it's not the most best quality, it's, it's not, but inexpensive, super inexpensive, and I don't get to wear sweaters like this very often here, so it was perfectly fine. And actually, I bought it because I wanted to be able to wear it on the cruise ships, so it, folding it up, it's thin, it's, anyway. So this skirt, this is from Stitch Fix and I love it. So it is the, where is it? Liverpool Briella Jacquard Knit Skirt, khaki, size four. It's expensive, it's $68. But um, this is absolutely perfect for me. Um, it's drawstring here. So as I go up and down, it'll still fit me. It's not too short and it's not too long, um, but uh, it's great for here in Texas. It has the faux pockets back here and um, it's just really cute. Right now, I'm, oh no, they're not faux pockets. They are not, they're just stitched. So, I mean, they're not big pockets. They go to about here. So, there you go. Um, right now, I'm up about five pounds. Here comes Addie. <laughs> you going right there, precious? Okay, you're gonna hear her breathing. Um, so anyway, but I also have a gray and a taupe colored sweater exactly like this. One in gray, one in taupe, and all three will go with this. And I have the pink, the gray, and this color booty. I have, I probably have 10 pair of booties because I love them that much. I do, I really do. But honestly, what I would feel more comfortable with in this outfit, did I not zip? No, I zipped it, is slides. I have these from Stitch Fix. They're in cream, gold, and this pink. Um, I absolutely love these. I will leave these linked for you. I have not seen them on the internet. You know I will go searching for them so I don't have to pay full price for them on the Stitch Fix, but I haven't seen them anywhere. So there you go. So here they are. I absolutely love them. So I wouldn't wear the pink ones with this. It's just what I had out here. Um, so yeah, now pockets, stretchy. So this is all I'm gonna keep out of this fix um, and everything else is gonna go back. Uh, they're already asking me to send a note to my stylist so I know another one's on its way. I'm just kind of gonna, I'm gonna let them do one more and then I'm gonna pause it until probably January or February um, because I don't need any clothing. I really don't. I shopped from the freestyle, you know, the shop. So I'm good. Um, and uh, in fact, I'm probably going to spend a little time decluttering my closet over the next couple of months and just kind of keep stuff in there that I'm definitely gonna be wearing. So I'm gonna try two things on for you very quickly because I wanna show them to you. And then we're gonna wrap this up and I'll see you in a little bit. So these are the Democracy Absolution jeans that, or pants that I got from Stitch Fix and I love them, I absolutely love them. Um, so we can bring them down a little bit. I don't have to pull them up that high. I had them on with my, so there we go. This top comes in several different colors. It's just a layering piece. It's lightweight. Um, it's great for layering and it's so soft and so inexpensive. And then this vest, <laughs> I love this. So it's very inexpensive. It's just a little puffer vest and uh, it's off of Amazon. So obviously if you need to zip it, you can zip it. So this is great for here in Texas or for the, those of you who have, have, we have fall and it gets chilly here, but it doesn't get super cold yet. So this is great for the fall. Also, when it gets a little colder, this one, look at it. Oh my goodness, it is so cute. So. I'm gonna leave the sizing below. I think I sized up in this one. So isn't it cute? And it has the Sherpa, faux Sherpa, the so soft faux Sherpa. Now this, this one, is this the one? Yeah, this one doesn't have the pockets. It has the top pockets here, 
but it doesn't have the inside pocket or the slide pockets here because it's reversible and on this one it has the slide pockets so if you want to wear the sherpa on the outside then um you'll have the hand pockets like that so this i love this i love this so much i bought it in the blush pink and the top i bought in three different colors the blush pink um i think a gray and then this color so now i would wear this with denim i wouldn't necessarily wear it with this color but my denim pants are in the wash so <laughs> i couldn't put them on but there you go and then with the booties so and with the pink booties and the blush outfit blush is the color this year it is the color everything's blush so there we go okay one more thing i want to show you and then i'll be done showing you clothing hold on this I love this. This is from Amazon. This dress was $15.60. This is Larkin Row. So I will leave it linked for you. It can, this is navy. I have this color. I brought a burgundy one, a polka dot one, um, a floral one because of the price. And these are the kind, they're knit. So they're super easy to wear. You can dress this up, dress it down. You could put a blazer over this. You could put a cardigan over this. You could put anything over this. I will link for you down below a couple of my favorite cardigans from Amazon. Um, and uh, I have some favorites from Nordstrom, but they're kind of expensive. And I just don't believe you should buy them unless they're on sale. I just don't really think that you should. So um, I will leave them. You know what? Let me get, let me get one for you. Hang on. So this is one of my current favorites. I have this in four colors. I absolutely love this. Oops, what's happening? Okay, my battery light's flashing. I absolutely love this. But here, this is from Amazon. It's just a little cardigan and uh, you can wear it. It comes in a ton of different colors. So just pick five colors and you've got cardigans for days. I will leave the sizing down below and this is a medium. I sized up in this. I uh, just so I'd have lots of room. Um, I don't want it to fit fit. I love a fit and flare to kind of skim away from the body. Okay, that's it. All right, I'll see you in a second. Good morning. Well, it is 7.18 a.m. Tuesday, the 2nd of November, 57 degrees outside. Good morning. How are you? I am out here with the puppers. Oh, oh yeah, she stopped. She was going potty. So I just got off the treadmill. Um, yesterday was a big cleaning day. So I was cleaning litter boxes and stoves and ovens and refrigerators. And so I pulled out the stove and the refrigerator and got, you know, you know, you have to pull them out and clean underneath them and stuff like that. So I did all that yesterday. And um, I've got to get the patio done in the next day or two uh, out here. Just, you know, you have to brush the eaves from the cobwebs and stuff. All that needs to be done. Usually Rob brushes everything and then I wipe everything down to get, you know, the dust. It's very dusty here. Get all the dust and dirt and debris off of everything. I think I'm going to leave this the way it is right now. What is that? Oh, it's a rag. Rob must have needed it for something. Anyway, um, and I'm just gonna replace those little white flowers, which have been fantastic. I have them white, pink, and yellow. Um, and I meant to put the yellow ones out for fall and forgot, totally forgot. Um, oh, y'all haven't even seen the new fence. There's the new fence. I think the last time we vlogged at home, that fence had blown down. Uh, we had a storm come through and it completely wiped out the fence. Lots of fences around here. Anyway, so we had that one replaced. I think that was just before Vista, yikes. So, Today the plumber is coming. I'm gonna switch hands, hang on. The plumber is coming today. We have uh, the same pipe that keeps clogging out of our kitchen to our sewer line. So today we're having a hydro flush done. So it is supposed to completely eliminate this problem. So basically what has happened is we'll clear it, but it doesn't clear it completely. So eventually it clogs back up, especially when we've been out of town for a while. Um, not enough water flows through it like it does when I'm home. And um, so there you go. So they're just coming to fix it. Um, but back to the flowers. I think I'm gonna try and find some red ones and order some red ones for Christmas. I have pink. Um, the pink ones are over there, but they're looking rough because they get 
hit by the weed whacker when the when our um, landscapers come. So anyway, um, my arm is so tired. Anyway, but I ran a couple miles on the treadmill. I have not been consistent with running. And as I told you, this is the time of year I really gear up and start to push my running and my distance um, because I can handle the temperature. So, um, and it's super boring on the treadmill. So anything more than three or four miles on the treadmill and I just lose my mind. I, I just, I get so frustrated because it's so boring. All right, well, I'm gonna go inside and finish the description box of the video going live today. And the next one I'm editing is Cozumel on Carnival Mardi Gras, so like the third day of the cruise. But I'm excited about that one because we did Bolt for the first time. So I'm excited to show you that, so. All right, you guys, I will see you. Hi. Say hi. Hello. Hello. Okay. Now he, of course, he always changes lanes when I turn the camera on. Like, every time. Hello. It is uh, Something. 1241, November the 6th, and I'm going to make this brief because you guys already know this vlog has been super long. It was a super long update about Mozzie and the truck being stolen and all of that stuff. Um, anyway, and then we did cause box and then we did a stitch fix and my short story just got here. I mean, but we'll do that next vlog. Um, so right now it is Saturday. Last evening we had a great evening with the kids. Um, Mozzie had a follow up at the vet. I'll get into that next vlog when we know. He's like that. I know when we know more, but he's either going to be fine or has some sort of autoimmune disorder. We don't know yet. The vet's doing some research, and um, anyway, he's just he's he's just having a little bit of a hard time. So there you go. But he's with us. He's safe, and know that he is being taken care of. Um, he is exploring a little bit in the house, which is nice, and and only for just a very short time. And then he goes back to his kennel. I don't put him there. He puts himself there. He loves his kennels. He loves them. It's his comfort area. It is. It's his safe zone. So anyway, so currently we are headed to Costco, Aldi, and Starbucks. Is that everything? Yeah, because Costco, we're looking for new cat towers. The last time we found them, they were the wrong kind. So we're hoping they have some this time. And Addie's Nanites, which is her bed, I'd like to get a second one for her. She loves it. And so I'd like to get her a second one for the bedroom and just for when it's being washed because it takes like three days to dry. Um, that she has another one. Um, so that's what we're doing. Costco, we're just getting basics. I'll show you the cart when we're leaving Costco. Um, you know, eggs, bacon, uh, cat, tower. cat tower, toilet paper, paper towels, that kind of stuff. Fun stuff. Yeah. And um, Aldi, I'm looking for their advent calendars. I'm probably too late. They released on Wednesday of last week and they sell super fast, but you never know. We'll just go and look and see if we can find one. I'd like to get the cheese one and then I want the pet ones. Um, and because they're $5 at Aldi, whereas they're $25 on Amazon and I am not paying $25 for a $5. That's stupid. Um, I mean, if you do it, you do you, but I'm not going to do that. If I, if I didn't have an Aldi near me, maybe. No. Anyway, um, and uh, at Starbucks, I'm looking for my ornaments. So I, it may end up when I get in there, it smells so delicious. I might have to get a latte, but probably not. Um, just, you know, I have all the ingredients at home to make my own latte. And quite frankly, mine tastes better. So, because <laughs> I know what's in them. Okay, enough talking. We are headed to Costco. Costco jigsaw puzzle. That's really cool. Where? Ooh. I remember passing on those last year and regretting it. So much regret. Regret nothing. Regret nothing. <laughs> but I'm not going to get them again this year. Oh, look, they changed colors. All right. Take it with you. Oh, I could, huh? Never mind how we'd get the... Well, it's inflatable until so you fold it up. Oh. And you put it in a box that size and throw it in the, your luggage. There you go. Oh. 
nice. I want one for the pool, but I would smack my head on the concrete. So what you need for Alaska? Beanies. The gloves. I still have gloves and beanies. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to come home with this. It's an advent calendar. So cute. Remember how I said we were just at Costco for like the basics? This is what Costco does to you. <laughs> Here's Addie's non night. We have one in white, so this is nice. I'll show you in the van. Okay, I'm gonna have to show you at home. There's just too much. Too much just to do it in the van. Oh, but you can see Frank's beautiful new paint job. Doesn't he look fantastic? He's all shiny and clean and beautiful. He needed it. We're gonna work on getting the old stickers off. So, woohoo! All right, here we are. All the time. Okay, Aldi down. So at Aldi we got, Robert got a Coke because they didn't have anything else that he really likes to drink. But I got this. This is the pineapple strawberry flavored sparkling water. Oh, this is so delicious. They also had a strawberry lime or some sort of lime one. And then, um, I don't know, a grapefruit one. So I picked those up to try because it's so much less expensive here at Aldi. And I love sparkling water love it so um yeah so i'm gonna have this and i picked up because i'm hungry don't shop hungry don't shop hungry which is why when we get home we're gonna have a massive haul from both these places costco and what's that aldi so i got this um it just sounded really good it's full of terrible things for you um but tasty. but tasty it's like i say i talk about these as a treat these are candy this is a snack this is not a meal replacement you should not use this stuff like that I mean if you do great whatever but it's gluten-free it's chocolate and almond brownie type yumminess okay off to Starbucks this is delicious delicious okay no such luck at Starbucks they didn't have any ornaments we went to two different Starbucks so we're just gonna check a couple in the next couple of days they might have some more now all three of my kids are home and one almost wife is home and they're moving some of their stuff out of my room. So if you see messes anywhere, just turn the other way. Don't judge. They're moving their stuff in and out today. So let's get busy on this Costco haul. Then I'll show you, oh my goodness, my floors. <laughs> I'll show you um, Aldi. So here we go. All right. So I picked this up at Costco a long time ago, this, and I put it in my master bathroom and I love it it is fantastic so and we went to get back get another one for our other bathroom and they didn't have any so this uh we saw this today it was the only one that was there okay anyway so it was the only one they had and i picked it up so there's aldi i'll show you aldi right here and that's a pillow from target that's a return to amazon okay so paper plates we use these in the camper we use them for work we use them in lots of different capacities and i know some people don't agree with paper plates i'm sorry you do you it's okay all right um uh wrapping paper this was 11.99 and uh it's three rolls of um it doesn't have the measurement here anyway this will last me two or three years so we're good i bought some last year it's cutesy paper but you see this is uh double-sided i just i really like costco's wrapping paper it lasts forever for us and i usually pick one up every few years grapes robert wanted some grapes so um and they were on sale so he got seedless table grapes and he got black seedless table grapes so these are red those are black eggs three containers of eggs should get us through for the next few weeks a couple of weeks i have been craving peppers i don't care what color they are i've been craving them so i picked this up figured i could put them in salads because i've also been craving salads Kerry gold um my favorite cucumbers i love these pick those up uh, the romaine looked terrible. It looked absolutely terrible. It was not fresh. It was all brown, like ev cases and cases of it. This is what they had. So I went ahead and picked this up. I mean, it was packaged on October 29th, so it's already six days old. 
seven, eight days old. So I need to eat this quickly. That's fine. I will. Pecans, I get one of these every couple of months. I absolutely love them. Uh, I go through them. I eat pecans practically every day. Cheese, you always need cheese. <laughs> Wait till you see from Aldi. Avocados, I eat at least one avocado a day. Bacon, because bacon. There's my rocks box. I will show you that in the next vlog. Um, we got Robert a jacket. This is fleece lined um, for uh, Alaska and for Greenland. Yes, we are going to Greenland. We're going to do that cruise. And this was a great price. It was $19.99. Alexa's talking to me. Alexa, stop. She heard, I guess, I don't know what she heard. Oh, mailman's here. Suavitel because it is my favorite and they have been out and this is the new one and I love it. And there's the doggy advent calendar which I showed you. So let's, uh, that's everything. I'll put the total here on the screen. It was ridiculously expensive but, oh no. Toilet paper, paper towels, and a barking pupper dog and her new non nights. That's my son's uh, suit, uh, briefcase for work. And no non nights. Daddy, I got new non nights. I see the new non nights. Do you not know what that is? Because it's the wrong color? It's okay. See, her other one is over there and little dog is on it. Don't mind the mess. And then these, I've told you before, any kind of fruit box. This is uh, blackberries, I think. And that's raspberries or any kind of berry box. My cats love. So I brought them fresh boxes home. Okay, so let's get into Aldi. One second. Okay, so I did find the dog advent calendar that is the only one besides the chocolate one and the Lego ones that I was able to find at Aldi. I wanted the cheese one, but they told me that people like actually line up the day they're released and like they're sold out that minute. Like the, that, so there's no hope for me getting a cheese calendar. I made up for it though. Okay, so this is the Aldi pumpkin spice coffee. I just wanted to try it. And here's the cherry lime I was telling you about in the car and the grapefruit. And then we picked these up. Robert, these looked really good. Robert loves calzones, and um, so he's going to try this one's Philly cheese. This one's pepperoni. We've had pretty good luck with anything we pick up at Aldi, so I'm sure it's delicious. Salami, because if you know me, you know I love salami, which is why I have that one too. Marscapone cheese for a recipe. Nufichel cheese for a recipe. Um, this is halloumi style cheese sticks. They're gluten free, keto friendly, perfect for grilling or frying. Never had it before, so I wanted to try it. And it's from Aldi, so you know it wasn't expensive. This is our favorite salsa. Robert likes medium, I like mild. Zucchini. This is for Robert for his lunches, habanero jack cheese. And then this. So this is Gruyere. This sounded really good, yummy on a salad. And this, I just love Havarti dill. I just love to slice it and eat it. And this is grass-fed cheddar, just because it sounded delicious. Again, slice it and eat it. Salad, slice and eat. And Gruyere, I want to grate and put in a, a cauliflower mac and cheese. So that's it for Aldi. I don't even know how much it was. I will let you know. I'll put it up on the screen from the um, receipt. And also, I will then use my Fetch Rewards. I always scan my Fetch Rewards and I save them up for the whole year and then I take a gift card out to Amazon. There's hundreds of places. I will leave my Fetch Rewards listed below. You scan it, you get 4,000 points immediately and uh, that's like $5, I think it is. So, yes, I, I know it's just getting your information, blah, blah, blah. Whatever, I don't care. I will sell it for a gift card, so. <laughs> Anyway, all right, you guys, you've spent enough time with me. Thank you so much. We'll do Rock's Box and Short Story in the next vlog, which I will be starting tomorrow morning. I'm hoping this week we can get, I, did, I cut that from the vlog because it was just so long, uh, the new cat station, feeding station. It's beautiful. I can't wait to get it all set up. Maybe we can do that in the next vlog. I don't know. You'll see next week. And uh, so now I'm going to put all this away. I'm going to enjoy the company of all of my children being home. Y'all know that's a rarity here. So... This sweater I will leave linked for you because it's super cute, super comfortable, and super inexpensive. And that's everything. Thank you so much for joining us. Please subscribe before you go. They're not always this long, but it's a weekly vlog, so, I mean, it's long. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Talk to you next time. Bye. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. 
Even if the sky is falling down 